Hi, I'm Vivya, or you may know me as Viv from Musha with me. Today in this video, I'll be showing you how to use acrylographs on the mirror. All supplies used in this video are on the screen right now. I'll be using those acrylographs in different colors though, and I'll be showing you how to do the design in that journal right there. As for the mirror, I'll be using this asymmetrical mirror right here. Well, let's get started to making a new design. For cleaning, I used paper towels and a nail polish remover, which was 100% acetone. And then I used water along with paper towels to wipe it clean. For the first design in the video, I'll be using these two acrylographs. They're the white acrylograph and the pink quartz acrylograph from the Archon Olive X Amanda Rachley collection. You can find the white acrylograph anywhere with any collection, I believe. The first design is rather minimalistic with just a quote. I love this because you can finish it within 30 minutes and still be happy with the outcome. I decided to add little hearts on the top just to cover that part of the mirror as well, but this is completely optional. And that ends it. That's how I made the first mirror. Here are some close-ups of the mirror. It's just a form of information. Moving on to a new mirror. The colors I used for these are shades of browns from the Cool Fall collection along with the rice paper acrylograph from Amanda Rachley X Archon Olive collection. For this mirror, I started with writing a song that I really like. I feel like it adds a different element to a normal minimalist mirror in itself. Once I was done with the playlist, I started using the colors to make designs on the mirror. You can also look on uh, the step-by-step -step version of it in the blog on Arshan Olive. Since I didn't think I'd have enough time to do the entire mirror on video, I just decided to go with a quick transition to show you what other things I've done to the mirror. I just did the same design on different parts of the mirror and now I'll be using the rice paper acrylograph to add little accents to the mirror. This step is completely optional and you can skip it if you don't want to. This mirror does have a lot more designs on it than usual, but I do quite like how it turned out. Feel free to tag me and our channel Olive and any creations you create which are inspired by this video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day!